Hey, my people, this is really funny. Everybody seems to be really pained that Peter Obi has a lot of supporters online. Like, da. Of course, a lot of people like Peter Obi because they think he's the right candidate for Nigeria and is going to give them that change that they are looking for. But it seems as if these are our leaders. They are now <laughs> calling out Peter Obi's supporters, saying that Peter Obi's supporters are terrorists, saying their desperation knows no bound, especially from El Rufai. El Rufai went as far as writing to Twitter to bring down uh, one of maybe one of someone's um, comments on his tweet, saying he wrote to Twitter and Twitter responded, saying this tweet cannot be brought down because they don't see any harm in this tweet. They forget that though we cannot go to them one on one to say whatever is on our mind. We can as well write it on social media. That is what social media is there for, freedom of speech. If we actually don't have that freedom of speech, if our journalists don't have, you know, that 100% uh, freedom of speech, we can as well do that online. Like, we can as well go online and express ourselves. There's no harm in that. So Twitter responded to him and say, hey, there's no harm in that. They see no harm that this person has done. So they see no reason that, they see no reason for bringing down the tweets. So this man is like really, really angry. But before we go ahead and see what uh, brought about this and the genesis of the whole matter, subscribe if you haven't. Give this video a massive thumbs up. Most importantly, turn on the post notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we post a new video. Without further ado, follow me. Let's dive straight into the details of today's news. Nasio El Rufai, the governor of Kaduna State, has once again knocked the supporters of Peter Obi, the Labour Party presidential candidate. The governor said the desperation of Obi supporters knows no bound, that is, the obedience. El Rufai made the comment after the supporters of Obi in Jamlin launched a report against his Twitter account. The desperation of so-called obedience knows no bound. They insult everyone they disagree with, but cannot accept that some find them disagreeable and have opinions too. One of them in Germany find my tweet too odd to handle. As Twitter responded below, I still they laugh. So now this is the report. A new report about El Rufai. Okay, it was actually the 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 twitter user that reported el rufai a new report about el rufai has been received hello twitter is required by jamming law to provide notice to users who are reported by people from jamming via the network enforcement act reporting flow we have received a complaint regarding your account at el rufai for the following comments so the comment is this in Kaduna, not Kaduna Twitter. Hope you get 200 persons on the streets, including those imports that can't open their shops on Mondays and came on overnight bus last night. I just they laugh. Walai it's a lie. Okay, it was actually El Rufai that made this comment and this Twitter user from Germany reported the tweet. So it's the other way around, not El Rufai, uh, not El Rufai that reported. So it says, the desperation of so-called obedience knows no bounds. They insult everyone they disagree with, but cannot accept that some find them disagreeable and have opinions too. One of them in Germany find my tweets too hard to undo. <laughs> so it was a Twitter user that reported. So here is the backstory, guys. War of War started on Monday after El Rufai mocked the plan by supporters of Peter Obi to hold a two million man match for him in Kaduna State. El Rufai, who is one of the All Progressive Congress APC, said the plan can only succeed on Twitter and not in Kaduna. <laughs> the governor noted that they can only get the figure they are projecting by importing people to the state in Kaduna, not Kaduna Twitter. The governor who is completing his second term said, I hope you get 
200 persons on the street, including those in ports that can't open their shops on Mondays and came on overnight bus last night. I just they laugh, walai, talai. So it was uh, the plan by Peter Obi supporters to bring to make sure that one million people march in the protest for Peter Obi in Kaduna State. And you know, Elrufa is the governor of Kaduna State, is serving his second term in office as it is. Elrufa came out to say, I don't think you're talking about the same Kaduna I know. Unless you're talking about Kaduna Twitter, you can only raise one million people to march for Peter Obi just on Twitter. Like just trying to say that Peter Obi is only relevant on Twitter. Peter Obi is only relevant on social media. You know, that is what they believe. They believe that Peter Obi is only relevant in, on social media and maybe uh, or in the East, you know. And he was trying to also project that maybe when you bring people from the east those people that cannot open their shops on monday as we know in the east right now the ipobs there's always sit at home every monday they observe sit at home every monday they don't open shops nobody can go anywhere or if all they do on monday is just sit at home and observe you know their sit at home thing that they do so el Rufa is trying to was trying to say that Unless you import people from the east, those people who cannot open their shops on Monday, those people, <laughs> those people, those Igbo people, unless you import them, you even with that safe, you can still not get one million people. Maybe you will get maybe two hundred people. Sha, I don't know, but that one million figure that you mentioned, you cannot get it. Wow, Elrufai. Like we have seen Peter Obi. You know, Peter Obi went to Kebi. He, 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 there were a lot of people in Kebi that came out in support of Peter Obi. He also went to Nasarawa State. A lot of people came out for Peter Obi. So you cannot say that Peter Obi does not have supporters. Even as I yesterday, after the Mieti, after Mieti Hala made that horrible comment saying that uh, Peter Obi is a supporter of Biafra, another Fulani group came out to say that Mieti Hala is not talking for them. It's not their mouthpiece and is not expressing the beliefs of all Fulanese. So, like, why will you think he, he does not have um, supporters in, in, in Kaduna? But anyway, let me know what you think, guys. Comment in the comment section. I respond to all my comments. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe. I will see you in my next video.